So today we're reviewing Star Wars The Force Awakens. So this is our Star Wars series leading up to <coughs> the rise of Skywalker. And we're starting out with 60 portions. <laughs> no, we're starting out with The Force Awakens. And what are and, your initial... Well, as you can see, we are Star Wars fans. Yeah. So we, uh, we, don't, we aren't as big as into the uh, originals as most people are. We really aren't into the... We've watched them, but we, we're not really into the original trilogy or the prequel trilogy. We're more into the movies that have came out in our time since probably the first one came out in 2015. As far as those movies go, it started out, I was really on board. It starts with this film right here, The Force Awakens, which I really enjoy. We probably saw this movie four or five times in theaters, honestly. Yeah. For reasons, <laughs> I think people probably wouldn't have gone to go see it, but we <laughs> really fun. we really enjoyed the, the movie. Like, uh, I liked all the new characters that they introduced. Uh, I liked just how the movie was, how it flowed. There was, no, there was no boring parts, in my opinion. It was a really good movie, and I had a great time with this film. We... We, we don't have it on Blu-ray, but we, we've been talking about getting it on Blu-ray ever since it came out. So <laughs> five we're years. We're still five years behind. We're going to get it eventually on Blu-ray. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed this movie. I remember seeing this. It was a while ago now. It just came out a while ago from now where we are now. But yeah, I definitely liked <laughs> this movie. I liked all the characters, like you said. I definitely... This is a, it has a great rewatchability. I remember seeing this on TV, yeah, it's on TV a couple it. months ago. And it's re, it's really easy to watch. I started watching it and I had to... I mean, commercial eventually got me to not watch anymore. But it was definitely... It has a great rewatchability to it. And it, there are a lot of interesting aspects. I do have some negatives. But for the most part, this movie is really good. I definitely like this movie a lot. Now, guess what... Your main positives. Yeah, like, kind, of, kind of like how I just said before, the characters, I like the storyline. I mean, obviously, my favorite characters of this film, I really liked Ray. I really liked, uh, I like Poe. I like Finn. I liked, uh, I like Conja I like Khan coming back. I liked, uh, I like BB 8. I liked, uh, who else is there? I, I really like Kylo. But then, yeah, I, I like the characters a lot. I really like the setting of just how, like, they met each other. Uh, they set up Kylo to be this really boss villain. And uh, that's, I'll get into my negatives in a second. But he started out like an epic guy, stopping a bullet, killing the people, like, showing how he had no soul. Like, he killed all those villagers. Yeah. Really, he weren't doing anything wrong to start the film. And uh, it was really cool. It just started out like they were trying to find a piece. Like, I got in involved in the story. Uh... And I stayed involved the entire movie. There was no annoying characters in this film, in my opinion. There was a guy we liked a lot who was trying to get portions for uh, straps portions. on uh, Jack Who. And uh, it was just a great movie. I thought the setting, everything looked, the special effects were awesome. Oh, yeah. Everything was just top notch. Uh, I just really, really enjoyed this movie in a lot of aspects. There was just a couple of things that more of us, my negatives that I'll get into are more of a storyline, or I guess decisions that were made, not how it looks, because obviously everything looks great, I think, in this movie. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I definitely think that Ray is definitely a great character in this movie. I like where they pick up with her character, and it's, it's just, I I do like that a lot. I do really like Finn and how that is in the story. I like that he was a stormtrooper, and that he I really like that aspect that he's breaking away from that. I thought that was interesting, and I definitely like I mean the overall storyline. You know, you get to see the Millennium Falcon with Han Solo and Chewie coming in. It's definitely very, it's just a really easy movie to watch, and it's a really fun movie to watch. Obviously, the visuals are great. There are some great action scenes, and it's probably my biggest positives for the movie, and yeah, it is very quotable. We already quoted the Conja Club line, the freaking, uh, the portions. I mean, it is a very memorable movie for sure, so yeah. it's really the main positives, but what, what are your negatives? So my negatives are more the storyline choices, like they, uh, just what they do with uh, Kylo and kind of how they... I, I didn't really have a pro as big of a problem with it as I do now at this point in the universe, but at this time, when he takes his mask off, it definitely was a, yeah. a major... I mean, it, it just kind of took away from his fear of like how much like how awesome he was, and then it definitely did not help the way that they had Ray. I, I bought in that Ray could have the Force, but I just never... I realized when I watched this movie, I didn't really have a big problem with it, but now as, as time's gone on, yeah, it bugs me more and more that she's able to withstand his force and be more powerful than him from day one because that's why now we're at this point and she's already beaten him i mean how many times it's just not i just really wish they would have had her get beat 
obviously not die, but like just have her get beat and show that she's way below. She needs to like build her way up to become this strong character. But yeah, just that was one thing I didn't like, and one other thing I didn't like was uh how they I guess it was more of a the Han Solo thing, I actually I actually didn't mind him dying in that movie. I thought it was a great decision to build up this character and show that this is him going full evil, but that kind of gets yeah. effed up in the next film. So this at this time, I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah, you can't, you can't it. blame him for things, yeah. And uh, uh, I definitely, I guess that's why my, my, my biggest issue was how Rey defeated Kylo so easily, like multiple times, and how Kylo, his his character became this like childish, immature thing. Because like, when it started, I had no idea he was this immature kid, which that, honestly, that, that could be a cool angle if they would have done like, he's becoming this evil thing, but... He's he's just too conflicted with not just being conflicted but being good, but yeah, yeah that was really my biggest issue, and that's it's really not it, it's really not a major issue. Just saying with the storyline choices, and it's definitely becoming a bigger issue now that we're getting into the ninth film here. Yeah, I do agree that the Kylo taking off his mask. I remember that being really <clears throat> underwhelming, but I feel like with the mask, it was gonna be underwhelming no matter what he looked like. <clears throat> I do agree that he was so menacing, and then it was really underwhelming. Even though I think he was really good in the Last Jedi. I think he was better in that movie as far as he doesn't have a mask on, but as far as not just well, how he's still, his acting he's still is, he's still childish, but, but he's just he he was just a better. I think he did a lot better in that movie as far as maybe it's just because I was used to him then. He yeah, when he took yeah. the mask off, he just looked way too like clean cut and just I don't know. It just didn't. He didn't look menacing at all. But but beyond that, just, yeah, <laughs> Ray beating him. I did. I was okay with her resisting the force. I I found that kind of cool. I liked that. that. Was fine at first. And he was injured at the end, which made that a little bit more bearable why she beat him. But I still agree. He still should have won that fight at the end, and that would have been a lot better to go into the next one. She gets some training, and then that's how I feel like they could have been better. But I, I still, in the movie's sake, I bought it a little bit more because he was injured, but still, obviously, you can make an argument that. It was still a little ridiculous. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a lot ridiculous with how they just made that look not very... Well, I think it's a little bit ridiculous, Jake. I mean... Oh, it's your opinion. It's, it's, I'm yeah, just, no, I'm my opinion. Opinion. I think it was a little ridiculous. Same he was injured, bit. so it makes it a little bit more, but in my opinion. He, but he wasn't using the Force at all when he could have... Well, no, he's, the whole, he's been that's, yeah. Supposedly, he's been trained by Snoke and Luke Skywalker, so at this point of Ray, This is the first time Ray's had a lightsaber in her life. Well, and I, I just think it's know. a little bit ridiculous that if this is more reali realistic... He should have been able to do a one, a duck, and a freaking chest strike. And Two be ducks. Dead. <laughs> so at least have her get like sliced across the arm or something like. We should get thrown back once, but I agree. She could have used. He could have yeah, used. Yeah, but that was, force that was without her. I mean, I don't know. It, it, there's just there's just too many times. And I agree. The this, training needed to be better. But... but yeah, there's no training in any of the movies. But uh, just definitely did not like what they did with Kylo and just that whole storyline there. And I was hoping it would get better in the next one, and it did not. But yeah, so. That was really my biggest negative of the film, but I guess since we're just going to do a quick review, I'll just give my score. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably have to give this movie a solid uh, 9.5 out of 10. Because I enjoyed everything else, and everything, all the special effects were really good, and that was really the only issue I had was the point, or with the, the things with Kylo and Rey, and just, and really honestly, as time's gone on, at first this is probably a 10 out of 10 for me, but as time's gone on, that storyline choice alone, and how it's set up to how it's built now, it just bugs me more and more, and it's just... It yeah. really just dropped the ball in a few different areas there. Yeah, I agree. Obviously, I have to look at this. I have to block Last Jedi out. Even though I didn't hate Last Jedi. I, I really didn't. I didn't hate it. I thought there was good things and bad things. But I had to put that aside and just grade this movie on its own. My initial reaction walking out of the theater was definitely a 10. But obviously, any movie as you wait, it'll drop a little bit. So my initial reaction coming out of the movie would probably would have been a 10. But I think I think 9.5 would probably be the same for me. Is that it's really good. But there are things I just, I just can't block out of my head now. I can't just pretend that some certain things don't bother me when they do. So yeah, I mean obviously, Ray being able to beat Kylo, I said it was a little excused with the injury, but still, there's no <clears> training <throat> in that aspect. It still, just annoys me. But it's a really good movie, and this is a great start to this new Star Wars universe. It was and a that's great why start. Everyone was so hyped going to Last Jedi, that's, that's, and they effed things up. But I, I mean, like I said, it was all right, but it still went took a step down. That's that's actually another another positive for me was how many storylines they set up because. Yeah. There were so many things that were awesome that they set up that could have been that should have been answered in the next one, like how you see Ray and like a, that flashback flashback scene where Ray is like a, a kid and something's being flown away and she's like crying. You see, yeah, uh, you see Kylo with a bunch of knights, the knights of Ren around him. There's you, you want to know how Ray's how Ray has the Force. You want to see 
uh, what, what, what Kylo does with that. Then at the end, they leave you with a huge cliffhanger with Luke Skywalker there on the island. You want to see, oh, that's me awesome when they team up yeah. and, he, and he trains her for, for an hour and a half to become the Jedi that we all want her to be. And uh, we don't really know what happens with the... Uh, we don't, at this at that point of the, of the time timeline, we did not know what was about to happen in the next film, and as you'll see in our Do you next see any review of that, that with the film? but this okay. one, I mean, well, compared to everything else, well, definitely compared to the, the next one, it's a ten out of ten. But we think it's we think it's nine point five out of ten, which is still a great score. Yeah, and uh, definitely enjoy this movie. We, we always watch it whenever it's on TV. So, uh, thanks for watching our quick review of Star Wars: The Force Awakens, and uh, stay tuned for. The ro well for uh, Star Wars: The Last Ro Jedi and Rogue One review. Rogue One first. Or, yeah, probably Rogue One and then Star Wars: The Last Jedi. So, right, thanks for watching this quick review. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.